abide by the camp rules, you will be treated decently. Break the rules and you will be punished in accordance with the Geneva Convention. Solange er die Lagerregel beachtet, wird man euch fair behandeln. Brecht die Regel und ihr werdet gemäß der Genfer Konvention bestraft. As long as you are here, you will be put to work in the confines of the camp, but also in local businesses to compensate for the harshness and suffering caused by the war. Wenn ihr hier seid, wird von euch erwartet, dass ihr arbeitet. Seht das als der Versuch einer Wiedergutmachung. Is that clear? Ist das klar? Jawohl. What on earth is Jawohl? On English soil, we say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir! Just an ear. Hallo Hitler. Du hast Glück. In dieser Baracke herrschen deutsche Verhältnisse. Der Offene weiß dein Glück zu schätzen und verstehst dich einzuordnen. Was grinst denn so blöd? Weil ich so ein Glück hab. Na, dann pass mal auf, dass dich dein Glück nicht verlässt. gar nicht mit diesen Arschlöckern ein. Oder bist du auch eins? Wenn du schnarchst, piss ich dir in den Mund, verstanden? Hast du eine Kippe? Leck mich. Ich glaub's aber auch keinen. Wirklich. the Odenwald Einheit. Now, which sort? A. Forced into Jack Boots at gunpoint. B. Took a bit of persuading. Or C. Couldn't get enough of it. Since he met Lee in his up here? Hmm? No? Wofür haben Sie das bekommen? I see. We know what your sort did. Wir wissen, was Sie und Ihresgleichen getan haben. If it was up to me, there'd be a mass grave for you bastards out there. Then I am happy that it is not in your hands. We're going to have a lot of fun with you, Mr. Troutman. Go! 
Come on, get a move on! Ich könnte dir helfen, ein paar Zigaretten zu verdienen heute aus. Komm mal ran auf den Meter. Komm mal ran hier. Pass mal auf. Kollege Schnürschuh hinter mir ist der festen Überzeugung, dass er jeden eurer Elfmeter halten kann. <lacht> Jeder, der trifft, bekommt, haltet euch fest, das Zierfach. Das Zierfach. Also raus mit den Kippen. Aber gewöhne ich nichts an. Und sowieso wieder zurück. Ja, jetzt musst du es hinkriegen. Hinlegen, Abstand halten. Bist du bereit? Bist du bereit? Los, versenken. Und bitteschön. Ah, nicht ohne. Du, willst du? Komm, gib her. Gib jetzt her. Ich hau in den rein. Die Zigaretten. Ah, ist dann. Hey, Jack. How's it going? Can't complain. Here's it for the Colonel's wife. Make sure she gets them. Will do, will do. By the way, Jack, the Colonel says he'd love some cigars. Yeah, well, they're not that easy to get hold of now. I'll see what I can do. Long in the goals is. It's not bad, is it? He's not bad at all. He's a bloody nightmare. Sergeant Smith. Hello, Jack. Uh, did you manage to get all the money sugar? The sugar? Again. I have no more kippen. Mehr. Ich... Also, come on. Wir hatten noch nicht, wer will noch mal? Jetzt seid doch mal keine Weicheier. Es kann doch nicht sein, dass hier keiner von euch tut. Excuse me. I want to go too. Of course. Ah, the ball, the ball. Entschuldigung. Have a go with me. Shut your cake off. Wenn wir ein bisschen Respekt zeigen, wenn wir, wenn wir äh, Damenbesuch haben. Bitte. Hey, What are you doing? What? Where do you think you are? In a bloody holiday camp. Come on, we're leaving. I can't leave you alone for a bleeding second, can I? Hey? You know you've cost me a load of sugar. The camp's our bread and butter. We've got a good thing going here, Margaret. Well, don't drag me out in first place. Bloody women, you're just like your and mother. you, Troutman, if you want to go back to shoveling shit, you keep this up. Give me that fucking ball. Move! Go on! Move! Surrendered. Capitulated. Your thousand-year-old Reich has ended a bit early. Yeah. So have a drink on us. Wash the thowness from your mouths. Now don't start imagining you're going home anytime soon. First, we have to identify the war criminals amongst you. And then there'll be a re-education program for the rest of you. Again. 
Pass mal schön auf dich auf. If it was up to me, gentlemen, I wouldn't give you the steam off my own piss. Catch your bloody cold, you! We go down, Jack. I don't think I can keep back in you. Oh, don't give up on us yet, Mr. Roberts. Don't worry. It's not as bad as it looks. Oh, it looks bad enough from where I'm standing. Oh, Margaret! Oh, See that then? Was he hell? I just stopped that with me handbag. <laughs> Do you want me to take over for you, Al? I get stuffed! Go play with your dolls! Oh, leave them alone, will you? got a cob on as it is. Alfie was playing at Boyle's wedding yesterday. I bet he didn't get his hangover over playing trumpet. Ryan! Your bill is only showing off to impress you. You just flex your wrist for him now and again and leave my elf alone. That is, of course, if you haven't already done the dirty deed. Betsy, you'll be the first to know. Margaret, make sure the lads are out of there for 10 o'clock, will you? I want them nice and lively in the morning. Dad, I'm not the nanny. Tell them yourself. Hey, hey, Jack. <sighs> Good day. It was. What about them sheep, then? What about them? 30 quid. Are these them with the golden fleece? Oh, come on, Jack. I know you're sitting on the bone of your arse. I'm doing you a favour. Look, that's worth 35 quid of anyone's money. 35 quid, son? <laughs> I'll do 20, and that's doing you a favour. I'll tell you what I'll do, Jack. If that bunch of clowns that you call a team win tomorrow, I'll do the sheep for 20. But if they don't, it's 40. 40? Bringing in the sheep. Bringing in the sheep. That's <laughs> all. Yeah, I won't be long. Just give me a minute. Excuse me. Sorry. Don't want to spoil anybody's night, but my lads need to get home now. I've only just got here, Jack. Yeah, we'll save yourself for next week, eh? Is We've got joke? a big match tomorrow, mother. A really important match. If we lose this, we're going to be in trouble. I hope you're going to come and support us, everybody. But for now, lads, get home and get a good night's kip. Bill, come on, you're the captain. Take an example. Get him out. I think I have to go. Oh, I don't believe this. I've it's got... a big game, love. Sorry. Right, lads, come on, let's go. Big game tomorrow. Alfie, come on. Nobody gives a rat's ass whether you play the trumpet or not. Get yourself on. Oi! The trumpet is the leading voice in the orchestra. Yeah, Jack. Gig here to finish. Kiss my ass. <laughs> I'll kick your ass in a minute, you stump. I do this every Friday night. I know you do it every Friday evening, Alfie. Because every Saturday you've got an head full of cotton wool. Sorry. For once in your life, think of somebody else, will you, and get the fuck home. Oh, what? Lads are waiting to play. Dad! Get yourself home, or else. Oh, you what? Today, today, tomorrow's tomorrow, yeah? Got it. Dad. Dad, you're making a show of yourself. Come on. What are you doing? You can't just do that. So can you do it for me, but obviously... If too much to ask. What is wrong with you? You're so embarrassing! Come on! Sam? Yeah? Any chance I can have a word with the Colonel? I don't know what agreement you came to with the Colonel, but if this had been up to me, you would not have got permission. Well, just let me have him for a few days. By the time I finish with him, he'll be crawling back here on his hands and knees. Cowman! 
Come here. You lot, carry on! Come on! All right, you lot, back to work. Right, shall we? Now, whatever you do, don't let him leave the shop unless he's under your supervision. Understood. And bring him back before sunset. Not your mate. To me and everyone round here, you're still the enemy. You just do what you're told. Do you understand? I'll tell you what, you fuck about with me and I will hang you out to dry. Have you got that, lad? Come on, get out. Out! Get out! Get that on your neck. You, play football, keep your gob shut. Stum, OK? No. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? What does no in England mean? In Germany, no means no. Why should I? Why should you? Why should you? Do you know you stink? Do you like smelling a shite? Do you like being on the latrine detail? Is that what you want? Or would you rather play football? It's up to you, Fritz. It's no skin off my back. OK. I'll take you back to the camp now. Get changed. What are we waiting for? He's on his way. Uh, not last. Where's your jacket? Isn't he in the changing room? He's probably crapping himself. Oh, he wanted to go back to camp to fetch Summit. Nana, you're mixing things up. No, he definitely wanted to go back there. Jack, we're going to get started. Oh, Good morning for this. What's going Come on, Jack. Oh, there he is. Dad, Robert is looking for you. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? He's dragging along with him. Take you to peace. Yeah, lads. How you got this? Hey, hey. We're up for it. Bloody car. I'm going to have to get you that bleeding car. I'm having no much trouble with it. Right, lads. Uh, this is Bert from Bradford. We're going to shine him out in goals. What's up with Bert from Bradford's neck? Uh, it's a war wound. Poor lad can hardly speak. And also, I have a light cord. You've gone mad. He's a fucking German. You're not, are you? Yes, I am. Oh. Don't be just stunned. What are you playing at? I'll tell you what. I'm not playing with no bleeding kraut. Jack, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, can you keep your eyes down? Look, it's all or nothing now. It's shit or bust. We can't afford to lose another game. So I want his crowd to play for this. I've seen him play, and I'm telling you, lads, he's the best goalkeeper that'll ever stand between them posts. What's that supposed to mean? In drop me for the fucking crowd? Hey, we are not his camaraden. You don't have to be his camaraden. We just shine him out in the goals. No, not with me, you doll. Where's your loyalty, Jack? Loyalty? You talking about loyalty, Mr. Fucking Friday Night? Hey, what are we waiting for? If you want to concede the points, then let me know. We're coming, ref. We're right oh, behind you, I promise you. Right behind you. So, lads, what's it to be? It's a fucking German.
playing. Is that Ian from Warrington? I thought Ian had been dropped. No, no, that's not that's not Ian. That's um I think that that could be uh why is he waving at me? No idea. That's it! Come on! We're going! Alfie! Al Alfie! Where are you going? What's going on? Alfie! I am going to kill Dad. Why? Well, uh, uh, never mind. German no means yes. Yeah. 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 Your dad will be pleased. Yeah, I will. No, I don't think so at all. What did they say? Five sheep, 20 pounds. Consider yourself fleeced. <laughs> Off you go. In Germany, you say thank you. Thank you? I should thank you. You know, you nearly got me lynched in there. Why don't you keep your gob shut for one minute? You know, you've got two options. It's either football or hard labour. I'm doing you a favour, mate. We should be clear. The reason you brought me out was to help yourself. And if you want me again playing, then you take me out of the camp more. You don't want much, do you? And the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia By the trail of the lonesome pine ba ba dee ba da ba ba You got the name and I can't mind you crow bastard. Ba 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 he was the one that wanted to play football with him. I wanted to show the arrogant tosser what's what's not invite him to tea. Dad, do you have any idea how much Bill put me on spot? Uh, he could have said something to us. We could have discussed it. Well, I, I never... Don't interrupt me, Jack Fryer. You've no right making decisions like that by yourself. How do you think that's made us look in front of other people? Oh, come on, Clarice. When was the last time we discussed the team? Well, then, from right now, yeah, we'll discuss it. That's not well, the point. Well, the moment you sing, that's You're all. Doing. You knew you are going back to camp. I had to do something. Ah, uh, that's a no. Well, I thought you'd chip in. Well, thank you very much, everybody, all of you, for your support. I mean, what do you not know about football, anyway? Hey, when was the last time we won 3-0? Tell me that, any of you. This lad could save us from relegation. This is not about football, Dad, and you know it. He's a German. You can't just ignore that. He's a bloody Nazi. He raised his arm like the others and shouted Heil Hitler. 
But maybe you'd have raised yours if it had stopped the team getting relegated. Margaret! I've got some news for you, lady. Not only is he playing on the team, but starting Monday, he's going to be working in this shop. So how do you like them fish? Yeah, boy, my fooler! You need to have a word with her. She's getting too big for the boots, Lonnie. Yeah, I tell you, Marva, I went to Germany once. It was all sauerkraut and sausage. It made me fart like a bloody bruised horse. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dad? You've been farting ever since. <laughs> Give my love to Maddie and Ben. Thank you, I will. Night, love. This is the Friary, as I like to call it. You must have a long time. You're not this shop there. This is the entrance. You can't go past there. You understand? The Bolton. Is that it? The Bolton. The Bolton. The Bolton. This is my house. That is out of bounds. Private, that. Private. You go in there, you've got a chance my Paris will see. You'll get a crown pan on your head. All right. Come on. Come over there. That used to be the stables. And I'll keep special and oil and paraffin and stuff like that in there. So don't be going in there for the fly smoke. OK. Get that into the shop. Hello. I'm Bernd. I'm helping you. I know that, yeah. Um, um, your father... You know you're not supposed to come through here. That's the, uh, that's the entrance for the customers. So you, as you're not a customer, you're not supposed to come through the customer's door. So if you need to put things down in the cellar, then you use this door here. not in the shop. He's got to find his way about the place, hasn't he? Well, now he has. What have you said there was? Jenny, you'll have to get up early than that. <laughs> so it's true. What? Hey, your dad's letting that fucking German work here. I know, I know, that's terrible. Why? What's happened? Well, nothing yet. But it's hard enough just having a mate. God, you poor thing. Be careful your dad don't leave you alone with him. Do you think I'm daft? I won't. Don't worry. He's probably dying to get in your knickers. Let's see. <laughs> you know, Lily Clovens has a German working in the shop as well. One of the girls told me he's always staring goggled-eyed at her tits. You know what? Well, I'm happy he's mostly away from me. I better be going anyway. I'll see you later at dance lessons, all right? All right then. And Margaret, take care. I'll keep my distance. We don't want this German knob exploding in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> when you've done that, you can chop some more wood. Yeah, yeah, I do it. Do 
you want to help me? Come on, please help me a little. Can't you speak? What now? No, you cannot speak or no, you cannot not speak. Are you not permitted to talk to me? So, you don't want a present from me? I see. So when you shake your head, it means you do want a present from me. Good. If you really want one, then I'll make you one. No, I don't want one! Shh. You're not allowed to talk to me. Barbara, you need to leave for school now. I said now! Margaret, I'm not some kind of monster. Well, some folk around here might say different. Hating me is an easy way. An easy way? What are you talking about? You think you just come here and play some football and everything's forgiven and forgotten? Forgiven that you lot killed my friends. Forgotten that you robbed us of our youth. You know, instead of going out dancing, we had to spend our evenings in a bomb shelter. Open our houses are still standing and our family and friends still alive when we get home. It's easy for me, Dad, to just see you as a footballer. Because it's convenient for him. But not for me. I know what you really are. I'd rather have danced with you than stood on the battlefield. But I didn't have a choice. Yeah, it's paid in full. 
This is not what we agreed, you know that. You can't just leave it like this. Do you dare? Hey. Come man! Come man! Very sorry. I have to. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't open the door. Hey, I'll get you for this, Dalton! No, no, no. Come on! Let me take care of it. You're really taking good care of it there. Now, I know you're all very excited to be here. Very excited to watch your, um... What's it? Lust... Lustspiel. But before this, I've decided to show you a little film as part of the re-education programme. Right. Sie sehen vor Ihren Augen die einen kleinen Teil der direkten Verantwortlichkeit für diese Verbrechen tragen. Ein kleiner Teil nur und doch schwerer zu ertragen, als es der Menschenseele möglich ist. Aber wer trägt die wirkliche Verantwortung? Sie die sie ihrem Führer erlaubt haben, diesen himmelschreienden Wahnsinn auszuführen. Sie, die sie sich über diese entarteten Triumphe nicht genug tun konnten. Sie, die von diesen Lagen gehört haben. Hammer! Hammer! Komm, spiel mit! Klar! Kriegst du doch wieder! Pass mal auf! Du schnappst dir jetzt den Ball und dann rennst du weg. Und ich zähl bis zehn. Aber danach musst du verschwunden sein, ja? Sonst ist der Ball meiner. Das versteht er doch nicht. Also, eins. Zwei. Drei. Wisst ihr? Er versteht sich doch. Acht. Neun. Was ist denn los, Holthaus? Dass man hat und fest in eine Schule. Ist doch genau dein Lustspiel. Don't 
Nana just made some lemonade. Thank you. Presley. Huh? She's not like lemonade. What is it with boys in football? Mindlessly kicking a ball about all day. What is it with dancing? Well, dancing, it's easy. It's like... I'm floating. When you get it just right, there's no more gravity. Well, I mean, not that my body's actually floating, but more something inside. Like you're dreaming, but without having to wake up. It is the moment. There's no before, no afterwards. When I'm playing football, there's only the moment. It's the same as dancing. Yes. You know, football is also just a kind of dancing. No, it's not. It's bloody barbaric. No. Not if you look closely. Football is like a wonderful dance. Barbara! Barbara, come on, over there. Over there. There? Personizing with the enemy, are we, Margaret? <laughs> well, you haven't even changed. What? Oh. Oh, is it that late already? Say this once. Margaret's my girl. So if you don't want me to punch your lights out, keep your hands to yourself. Yeah. Come on, love. Have you ever asked yourself what Old House actually did in the war? Now 
get him away from me. Get him out of my country. A lot of them. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. God and Bennett, I don't believe this. To send in the prisoners home the week before the relegation design. What am I going to do? Well, that's it. He didn't even say goodbye. Couldn't he wait another week? How can he do this to me? How can he be so selfish? What? I just heard from Fred Brywick the Lancashire camp's getting closed. I mean, that's smashing, eh? Isn't that wonderful? You know, I mean, it's a scandal. All these criminals are being set free. But you're finally rid of your hun, eh? And Alf's back in goal. <laughs> What'd you say to that? Best get lost. What? Out. I want you out of the shop. This minute. your father my word to help the team and I keep my word. Well, we didn't know if you were lying. <laughs> Margie, Margie! Bert's back! Ooh. Bert's back! What? Dad! Oh, Dad! Bert's back! Oh. I, uh, I made up the bed in Barbara's room for you now. It's, it's quite small, but... I think it'll be cold enough for you for a week. I'm sure it will be. Thank you. You can stay as long as you like. <laughs> but um, I suppose you'll be looking forward to going back to Bremen next week. Oh, coming through, coming through. Maybe not this. Come on, Bert, sit this all down, lad. Bert, sit next to me. Oh, yes. Is your, uh, is your bill knocking on later? What? Oh, no. Do you have a girlfriend? Barbara. No. No girl at home. Turn on all to this lot, Bert. We need to concentrate on the Bert's goal game. Right. Well, enjoy, everyone. It's, um, my speciality. Tripe and onions. Oh, dear. They all be farted like a brass band. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mother. Bert? Toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't touch them. I didn't say you couldn't touch them. I just said be careful. Good night.
I told them about the number eight. Yeah, the sleep jack. Bloody hell. Jack Thompson, what's he doing here? Aye, it is. Come on, lads, shape up now. I'm at the heavy him. Ah, pleasure to be here. If you'd have passed it to me, I would have scored. I was clear it's through. Get off, will you? You're all as bad as each other. You're making a night show of yourself. The lot of you. And in front of Jock Thompson and all. Ah, that's got your attention, hasn't it? Jock Thompson from Man City's out there. Mind you, he's probably come to watch Hudson. Look, Tomo, get all of their winger, will you? Let him know you're there. Bill, you've not been in there half yet. I mean, they're all over you. What's the matter with you? I'll tell you what, if it hadn't been for Bert, we'd have been 3 0 down already. But having said that, Bert, your distribution's terrible. It's no good saving it and then giving it back to him, is it? Look, I know you're going home tomorrow, son, but just give me 45 minutes, will you? Just please concentrate on the game. All right? Oh, come on, lads. It's the last game of the season and we have to win. Show them your spirit. Get out there. Do it for the town. Do it for the north. Do it for England if you like. Do it for anybody. Just get out there, lads, and fucking do it. Come on! Come on. Today, so not bad at all. Yes. What did Thompson want? He wants me to come to Man City for a trial. Frank Swift wants to stop. What do you think? <laughs> what do I think? I think you're pulling my plonker boots. Come on, get in here. Get some of this beer down in there before they start drinking.
can't say I'm not happy to see a goal, though. So grab your partner by the hand, it's a little slow number, and let me introduce Bad Habits. how many penalties you take, Bill. She'll never be yours. You fucking what? You fucking what? Fuck off back to Germany, then! Fucking... You fucking crowd! You fucking... You lost the fucking war, didn't you? You lost the war! You fucking German bastard! Oh, 
doing? Uh, I, um, I, I, to, um, but... Come on, Romeo, get your bed. I think I can stay and play for Manchester. Yeah, cook it again. Come on, get to bed. Good night, Bert. Good night, Jack. Making sure Bert keeps his gloves on. Stambert, the world's been crazy the last few years. It's going to be a while before anybody can think straight. People have got deep wounds, you know. They lost people and family. On both sides, I know, you know. The thing is, Bert, Talking about my daughter. My little girl. I've looked after her and protected her all her life. She thinks she knows everything, Margaret. Huh? She's not seen either than what you've seen, lad. Thank God for that. Look, I like you, Bert. You're a good lad. I know that. I've had the benefit of getting to know you. Other people haven't, and a lot of people wouldn't want to, neither. And you can't argue with the bereaved. I know, Margaret, she'll carry that with you. Is that what you want for her? <laughs> You know, you don't always have to do as my dad says.
I'm training. Oh, it's eight o'clock Sunday morning. And I've still got an hangover from your wedding. Yeah, would you stop making all that well, noise? It's in. Get back to bed. I'm going to tell Margaret she's mad at a bleeding lunatic. All right, son. Let's go. I'm ready for you. Come on. Gentlemen, here he is, the new Manchester City goalkeeper, Bert Troutman. Now feel free to ask him questions. Raise your hand to do so and we'll get you all covered. You're it, Bert. Yes. Did you ever imagine as a German POW that you would end up as Man City's goalkeeper? No, I still cannot believe it. What do you want to achieve it? I want to win the matches. And to take good care of our family. Now where did you learn to play like that? Now, when did you find the time? I mean, you're very young, and you were a soldier for a long time. In my childhood, there was nothing I enjoyed more than to hear my friends calling for me to come and play football with them. My father was very strict, and I, and I couldn't leave until my household chores were finished. But then I ran down as fast as I could to meet the others. But I was mostly too late, and the teams had already been decided on, and, and nobody really wanted to go and go, so I went in. <laughs> Lucky for us. Manchester has a big Jewish community. How do you think they'll react to you being here? Let's, uh, let's keep the questions related Our to... Our readers are going to want to know if your Jerry was involved in war crimes or not. The war's over. You can't expect us not to ask no, these no, questions. No, please, oh. gentlemen, please. Now, we're introducing Bert Troutman here as a great new talent for Manchester City. I did what all soldiers had to do. There was no choice. I had no choice. You say you didn't have a choice, but we've looked into you, and we found out you volunteered for the army. He was a young lad. Yeah, yes, hey, I come did. Come on, lads. Back to the football questions. But, but I, I didn't know what I was doing or what it would be like. And when I found myself fighting on the front line, it was too late. I, I then just did my duty, as any soldier would do. So you didn't want to be a soldier? I didn't really have that much of a choice in the matter. You were awarded several medals, including the Iron Cross. Is that true? Is it true you have an Iron Cross? Yes, I have. <laughs> and you're a member of the Oldenbell Regiment. Gentlemen, I'm requesting... I'm not. I'm requesting... Do you have any knowledge of the deportation of the Jews? You have an Iron Cross. But thousands who have it, it doesn't mean anything. And what about volunteering? You said you didn't have a choice, and then I have to hear that you volunteered. I need to know the truth. The truth about what? About you! About what's going on in that crowd head of yours! You don't want to know. But I do! I mean, how is this marriage supposed to work? It has to be built on trust. You have to trust me. I, I do. But don't, don't walk away from me. I need to know who we're married. Tell me the worst thing you've ever done. The thing you're most ashamed of. Can you tell me that?
maybe it was a mistake to sign him. He didn't tell us about his Iron Cross or any of his bloody medals. We never asked. You have to see the team. You go us into this mess, Job. You bloody well get us out of it. I mean, fucking hell. Uh, Rabbi Altman, good afternoon. Thank you for coming to see me. Uh, please step into my office. Listen to them, eh? We're up against that and us. Now listen to me. I'll tell you how we are going to deal with this. Every one of you will be supporting every other player in the team. That's our strength. Solidarity. You keep that in focus, the football will take care of itself. Come on. There's no war in this dressing room. Come Boycotters, others will follow. Some are already giving back their season tickets. The gates are down. The gates are down just because of a boycott of these Jews. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I, you should have thought about that before you put a Nazi in the team. Forgive and forget! Forgive and forget! Fuck off! Oh, oh, You're dancing on people's graves! Yes! Oh, oh, Mr. Thompson! Oh, Mr. Thompson! Oh, Thompson. Oh, uh, may I? Jack Fryer from uh, St. Helens. I used to train, Bert. Get out! Do yeah. <laughs> you want to kill me? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! My name's Margaret. My name's Margaret Troutman. No, Margaret. <laughs> For what the Germans did to us, they should never be allowed to forget it. But that doesn't mean that we can't forgive. What is this? I mean, are we, le are we letting women run show now? Right, your eyes for Christ's sake. If a woman, a young woman, has the courage to turn up here and talk to you lot, she deserves to be heard. Now shut it! When you go off. Bert has only learned how to do two things in his life. That's be a soldier and be a footballer. <laughs> yes, he fought for nearly four years. He doesn't deny it. But he wasn't alone. And you can't hold one man responsible for all that happened. What's next? <laughs> he must have front of a yard. I understand you. I understand, really. I didn't know him as a soldier, I only know him as a man. 
If you took the time to look past the fact he's German, you'd see he's just someone doing his best to put the past behind him. You're sleeping with the enemy! You're sleeping with the enemy! What's wrong with you? You lot band together and try and break a man who's already broken. Instead of helping him find a future. And all because it's easier than forgiveness. You know, you're no better than the people you accuse. Go, you cheeky bitch! Get out! In the newspaper. Have you heard what Rabbi Altman wrote? Listen to this. Each member of the Jewish community is entitled the to Jewish his own community opinion. Is entitled to his own opinion. But there, there is, is no, no concerted action to end our support for, for Manchester the crime of City. An entire nation. Despite the terrible cruelties we suffered at the hands of the Nazis. We would be no better if we were to persecute people who are related to but are obviously not connected with any such crimes of hatred. If this goalkeeper is, as they say, a decent fellow, I would say there is no harm in him playing football. Each must be judged on his own merits. The family, whether you like it or not. Hold his head. Hold his head. He knows, he knows. Give over, he's a goalkeeper. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's it. Holders Newcastle United in black shorts are at home to Manchester City before a 61,000 crowd at St James's Park. And that's how it stays a goalless draw. Cardinal Hotspur in white shirts keep all the game. Troutman the opportunities. Though, of course, Troutman and the city's other defenders are pretty stout. Oh <laughs> Bert Troutman, once a German prisoner of war in Britain, had a vitally important job defending the city's goal. He rose to the occasion magnificently. In less than 10 minutes, Bobby Mitchell took a very nice pass and beat Trotman from a sharp angle. <laughs> the crocodile. I got bitten by a crocodile. <laughs> Where is it now? <laughs> Everton try again, and once more Trotman saves the situation. Time and again, they threaten the goal. Only Trotman's heroic efforts keep the ball out of the net. Nice one, Bert. Great save, Bert. Battle was on, and battle it was, in a sea of Flanders mud. Purden tries a sudden shot at goal, but Chapman saves. A narrow sweep for Manchester. But unraveled, they swing into a raid of their own with Hayes. Hayes crosses and Clark heads it home. The only goal of the match. Manchester go on to win. Fit. We're not losing the final again this year. I thought that's why we came here. So you're not 
you thinking about it the whole time, you bleeding idiot? What are you doing? 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 My beauty sleep. Oh, I'm terribly <laughs> sorry. It's raining elephants and mice out no, here. No, no. It's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, yes, he's, he's right. Okay, look here, Mr. <laughs> Penguin. Uh, I'm going to ask you to leave, or I will have to change you into a rabbit. You can do that. Go shush it. One, a two, four. The phrase is the phrase I'm the very hungry rabbit, and my favorite oh, food being children. scenes of the vast crowd arriving at Wembley open the story of the cup final. Here are some of the 100,000 or so who packed the famous stadium. And you More than 100,000 spectators, British Rail laid on 38 specials to bring the fans to London's Wembley Stadium. Her Majesty the Queen went down with the Duke and Princess Margaret to watch the big match. And there was an ovation for them, of course. <laughs> Governor Brown are immediately on the offensive. Murphy, Murphy, will he make an attempt? He takes a long shot, but straight into Van Trachtman's arms. What a way to set the tone. Good evening, Mark. And it's Paul going to take a free kick. Out! Out! City are now finally on the attack. Grant gets the ball from the left, plays it forward to Revy on the edge of the box. Back heel to Hayes, he shoots, he scores, it's a goal! It's a goal! This is something completely different to last year when Man City were trailing by... Going for only three minutes and already one team's ahead. And Little attempts to clear the ball. Good oh. evening, Mark But then the pass is to Kingsley, takes his chance and scores! Goal! It's 1-1, Man City were coarsely 
and Birmingham equalised. Absolutely thrilling game. And that's the end of the first half. I doubt the Man City manager is going to be very happy. And I would imagine that he will have some serious words to say to the boys. I think you're right. So, 20 minutes into the second half, and Manchester really threatening Birmingham's goal. That's Barnes. Barnes. That's it. Trapman's head. What happened to Daddy? Don't, uh, nothing, sweetie. He's just, he's just, um, he's had a little... Beat the magic! Stay back, lads. Get up, Bert. All right, Bert. Just calling the medic over now. There seems to be a problem with his neck. getting up from this one. Could be a serious injury. Will they be down to 10 men? This could allow Birmingham back into the game. Looks nasty. Troutman doesn't seem to be moving. The crowd have gone very quiet here in the stadium. Inside. Oh, what's he doing? During that tackle, the fifth vertebra broke in two and lodged against the sixth. Oh, there's movement from Troutman. He's getting back on his feet. Which then held the fragment in pieces and saved his life. He's moving again. He's back on his feet. He's there, but Troutman is back. I don't understand. He carried on playing. He gives the signal and the audience gives him the support he deserves. A sudden jolt could have killed him. He broke his neck. He's going to see it through to the end of the game until the thing is done. Oh, he saves it again. Oh, but he's down. This really doesn't look good. No, this time he's... Staying down, he's getting up again. Oh no, he's down. Troutman is down. He's clearly in a lot of pain. The collision was obviously more serious than before. He's getting up again. I don't believe it. The fans are ecstatic. What a man! City fans going wild, Birmingham City obviously 
saddened by this defeat, but both sides should be very proud. It was a wonderful game. Hartman is obviously still in pain. Her Majesty presents the trophy to Roy Hall. Bloody hell, Bert. You look like a teapot. Have you seen the papers? You're all over them. Trout the hero. The man who played on. I'm anything but a hero. You daft lump. You could have bloody well killed yourself. Mind you, she does have a point. Look, but you lot, get over. No. He needs some rest. Oh. Who's that, John? It's your dad. Aren't you proud of him? Yes, yes. And look, Grandad, I've got a ball from the cup finals. Is that the ball from the cup final? On my head, John. No! Oh, I can't Nicht doch. Sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Lazy monkey. Hello? Hello, love. It's me. Oh, hi, love. How are you holding up? I, I just wanted to hear your voice. What are you up to? Uh, nothing much. Nothing special. Just a bit of cleaning. What about you? Mom, the ice cream man, do you have any change? No, you don't need an ice cream. It's far too cold outside. Don't be so strict. Mm. Let him have one. All right. All right, Johnny? There you go. Thanks, Dad! There's something I want to tell you. It's something about the war. Take care now. Blood! Blood, you left me too much! Hello? Margaret?
I'm sorry for your loss, Troutman. No one should have to go through that. Smythe. Sergeant Smythe. What are you doing here? I come here too every day. Just like you. My wife and two kids are buried over there. They died when your lot bombed Manchester. I hear that you don't want to play football anymore. Mm -hmm. Go out there and play, Bert. Play for the people who've accepted you. For those of us who've lost someone in the wartime. Play for your son. Go out there and give something back. To get lost! <laughs> It's my fault, Margaret. It's my fault. What? Do you think you're the only one in pain? How do you think I feel? I hear an ice cream van. And the world falls apart. It's not always about you. And I'll be damned if I let you sink into self-pity. I've sacrificed everything to be with you. Everything. You don't understand. This is my fault. I am paying, we are paying for what I did in the past. I didn't save that boy and now my son was taken from me. What boy? 
but what boy? In the war, this boy got shot, and I could have stopped it, but I didn't. I am being punished. My son, too. He was my son, too, and I am not paying for your sins. So stop it. It's not about you. And we can't bring him back. We move, we move on, or, or we bury ourselves.
You see them doing it there, they do it everywhere. It seems like one of those bad habits that feel good. And once you try it yourself, don't come and ask me for help while the music is playing. So you see a step and a bow, and watch a fairy tale. It seems like one of those bad habits that feel good And once the curtain is down We'll be the talk of the town While the band is repeating our song Dance with me Swing with me Let's be up and away Seems like you and I are turning now. The rest of the world is now. Mm -hmm. 